Hey, how you doing? This is Tom, and this is Tom Radio Room Show. And as I mentioned in the previous show, yesterday I was using this website, DX Maps, to get an idea of the communications activity on, for instance, shortwave HF bands. And this website gives you a map of all the communications that have happened in, say, the past hour. And where I contacted the um, author of this website because I was a little confused of where this data was coming from. And he, I, I contacted him about oh, 20 minutes ago, and he sent me a response already, and I have it uh, right here. He says, the data comes from all available networks I know. DX cluster, RBN, PSK reporter, da 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 as well as individual contributors. So that's where the data has come from, and it's pretty much real time. So let's go back to this. And this page, I've shown you this page before, just this map. But there's so many other things that this gentleman has going on. And let's go to site uh, homepage. Here are some other things that are going on. Updates and stuff like that. Um, personal information. Here's some information about himself. There he is in his station. He was born in 1962 in, I can't pronounce that. And let's see, he lives, he works at the savings bank at this island. Let's just do a search. So we can figure out where this is. Okay, there's a map. You will have to zoom out because I don't know where this is. Oh, it's an island off of Spain. Really? I'll be darned. Oh, it's cool. Okay, anyway. Um, let's get off of that. Let's go back to the map. Back one more. And I can see there is so much information and so many options. I'm just going to scratch the surface. I was hoping I could give you a little more information than I've given you in the past. So for instance, this is just the 80 meter band. So you can pick which band you want displayed or you can pick them all. Here we go in a color code. So there's all the activity. A lot of activity within the United States, over to Asia, and then within uh, Europe. Not too much from the United States to Europe. This, in the past half hour, this number of communications has decreased because it's almost 8 o'clock. And if I, let me see if I can add layers. So let's add a layer here. I want to add the gray line. Because I'm always telling the gray line can influence your reception to certain places. So you can see now the gray line has passed me almost to the west coast of the United States. So the communications now is decreased from Asia or to and from Asia has decreased, as you would expect. Now, what would happen later in the day, evening, the gray line would be this way, and so you get more communications over to Europe. Not too many, it's like only one, two, three, four bands showing here. Now, let's go back, because this is a little confusing. Let's go back to 40 meters and see what it looks like. Okay, 
there's okay that's where i saw a lot more 40 meters there's a lot more communications going on right this is from 1146 to 1152. And it also gives you the solar flux index here, which is in the toilet, 68, the A index and the K index, and some other information. Let me come down again. And then what I noticed yesterday, when I looked at this yesterday is, let me uh, go back here and go. So I'm on world, let's go to North America only. Okay, so it's zoomed in. You can zoom in manually, but that zooms in very quickly. For you. And what I noticed yesterday is if I zoom in more, we zoom in some more, and then move the map, you know, left click and then drag, and then I'll move in some more. I'll left click and drag, I'll move in some more. So here's people in Florida. Now this gentleman right here, he is really active. Same way with this guy. He is really active. Now what I saw yesterday is a gentleman right here in Largo, just five, ten miles south of me, was communication communicating through the world. Now let's see. It says for info that the location right click for more options. I'm going to right click on him. Uh, do, do, do. I don't see uh, what I was looking for. I was looking to just get his communications. Now, I know you could come up here and search on a person's call letters right here. So I could do that. But what I want to do is I want to zoom back out and see. How kinds, what kinds of distances he's getting. There's some long lines here. Fairly long lines. Um, I guess they're going over to this area. Let me uh, highlight him again. There we go. Was it that one or was it this one? And then there's one down here. So, okay, now I can see them. So this one, I don't know where, where these lines are going. I thought it was, hmm, I thought it was him, but it's not. He's just communication with stations north of us, north of Florida. Here's a guy that's really active. Now what's confusing is, to me, is there must be, yeah, see, there's, there's more than one. You zoom in, and there's one more than one station. See, here's like three stations. There, there's the guy that's active. So he's been busy this morning. So that's just one of the many, many features. Uh, there's other options here you can select. You can select um, only DX cluster reports. You can have the call signs turned on and off. All kinds, of, all kinds of options. I mean, I could, I could go on for a couple hours about this. And this is just one of the pieces of software that he has or websites. So if you go up here under software, you do index. These are all the programs he wrote. I have developed, he says. Pretty cool. This guy's been busy. I wonder if he works on software at the bank. Pretty cool. So check out this website. Let me go back here. This is just do a search on DX Maps. It's dxmaps.com. That's simple. And like I said, and then you can get uh, instead of a map. You can get a list of contacts or communications. Here's a list. Gives you the time, the person that was communicating with this other person. So these are the two people. 
and you could click on one of these and it gives you information about that person. See, this is what I was saying in my previous video. I wasn't concerned about giving away my address because if you're a ham, your, your address is public domain. So let's go back. Um, little description here. This was CW, CW. Oh, this was CW. These, the, the color code means thing. Now, where here he has he has another page and I've got it opened right here of frequently frequently asked questions. He also has a manual. Would you believe it? He's got a manual. So here he answers a bunch of questions like, like here's why some call signs are shown in different colors. Black are a spot from DX cluster that website. Blue is from WSPR network and so on down. And it shows you, tells you about the various options where you can turn things on and off. Pretty cool stuff. And let's see one more thing. Let's go back to map and then I'll wrap it up because I could because yeah, I could go on and on for hours. Let's zoom in. Okay, what am I on? Because there's not any activity in Florida. 80 meters. That's kind of hard to believe. Let's go back down to 40. There we go. 40 meters. So let me zoom in some more. I wish, I wish it was, this was a little smaller. So that it didn't have to go up and down to get to the zoom. So let's zoom in. God, there's a lot of activity going on. You wouldn't think that. Oh, look at here. There's a line. What's that line? What is that line? Oh, I think I may have clicked on that. Yeah. Now that's what I wanted to show you. You can click on the map and if you register and put in your call sign and it, it gets your address from that, then you can do you could click on the map to get distances. Like if I click uh, down here, it'll show it down here. So I, whoops, I zoom in, and there's the information right here, 170 miles away. So like for instance, if I wanted to see how far away is this guy. You click on that, it says he's only 82 miles from me. And like I said, it gives you a bunch of other information. Pretty cool. If you enjoyed the show, please give me a thumbs up. Have a great day. Bye-bye.